Hello and welcome to part three of Melodic Shredding with me, Fake Dr. Levin. Before I get into the music lesson, as a fake doctor, I'd like to give you some medical advice uh, that I found on this box of cornflakes. And it's got this diagram here in which it says to take orange grains, green vegetables, red fruits, blue milks, and purple meats and beans, and then you put it in a triangle like this, and then you can climb to the top. I thought that was pretty cool. So in this series, I'm talking about different ways to use shred in your music that I think are really cool. In the first week, I talked about how to use shred to connect two melodies. Then in the next week, I talked about how to use shred as a melody itself. And then this week, I'd like to talk about how to use shred as a texture that supports your melodies and creates a sense of atmosphere. So there's lots of ways to do this. And the way I'm going to do this is by playing fast arpeggios uh, that fit with the chord progression of the music um, I'm adding this texture to. So for an example, I'm going to use the chord progression from the song Creep by Radiohead because it's a cool chord progression and I really like it. And the chords are G major, B major, C major, and C minor. And I'm going to play seventh arpeggios that fit with each chord uh, very fast, and that's going to be how I create the texture. And I'm going to use this technique that I talk about at length in my other video called uh, something like how to how to play fast arpeggios without sweeping or something like that. I'll have a link to that video um, in the comment section below so you can check out how to do this technique I'm using. But I want to show you how this fits in with the melody and how this creates a texture. And so the point isn't so much talking about how to play fast arpeggios, it's just talking about that you can take, the fact that you can take your fast vocabulary and use it in a textural way. And here's an example. Oh, I kicked over my, uh, my cornflakes there. Here's an example. So I'm going to go to my loop station here, I'm going to play the chords and the melody for Creep. <laughs> behind the melody. kinds of different places in music and yeah I really enjoy it so I wanted to show you and here's another way uh, another lick it's similar to that one in that it's um, arpeggio oriented but what I'm going to do is I'm going to play two notes per string on the G B and E strings using chord tones from the triad so G major I'm going to play D B G as those are the notes in a G major chord but I'm going to make sure that I'm doing two notes per string and I'm going to fill in the notes that aren't in the arpeggio notes that aren't D, B, and G with just scale degrees from G major so I'm going to go that ends up being D, B, G, F sharp, E, D and I'm going to do it like this for each chord. Um, and then the last one is uh, yeah, mine. And so here's how that sounds. Let the melody go through again. Cool. 
cool to me. Um, and another thing you can do is you can incorporate harmonizing and uh, you know play these melodies with harmony parts that you can compose, and you can get cool textures like this. So I feel like that's just a really cool thing you can do with fast music. Uh, fast ideas is just use them in the background. People really focus on shredding so much because it takes a long time, you know, to be able to play fast stuff. So you spend a lot of time working into your playing and then psychologically that tells you, oh, this is really important because I'm doing it so much and I'm working so hard on it. This is something I should put in the forefront. But it can also function as a really cool background supportive textural idea. Thanks for watching, and next week we will conclude the Melodic Shredding series. Until then, remember your food triangles. <laughs>